Hello! In this video, I will describe the advantages of deploying and operating VMware vSAN on top of BigCloud Fabric using the integration with VMware vCenter. BigCloud Fabric brings network agility and the other benefits of virtualization to data centers through a controller based software defined network in Fabric. The product is based on leaf spine architecture with open networking hardware running switch light operating system. It is purpose built to optimize VMware deployments in the data center. BCF integration with VMware simplifies the interactions between network and virtualization teams and helps expedite the provisioning and troubleshooting of virtualized workloads on top of VMware Virtual SAN. Let's review the major advantages of BigCloud Fabric integration with VMware vSphere as it pertains specifically to Virtual SAN. Fabric automation greatly simplifies physical network provisioning for vSAN as compared to traditional networks. Fabric monitoring gives vSAN and network admins new troubleshooting tools to help isolate storage cluster connectivity issues. The vSAN deployment process with BigCloud Fabric is as easy as 1, 2, 3. First, we enable vSAN to integration on BCF, after which vSAN nodes are automatically attached to the Fabric. Then, we enable multicast on BigCloud Fabric tenant for vCenter with one simple knob. We will deploy vSAN inside vCenter. Note that as soon as VM kernel networking for vSAN is configured, the network is provisioned automatically. In the following demo, we will see how vSAN nodes are auto-attached to the fabric, as well as how transport is configured for vSAN networking. We will also demonstrate how using the test path feature from BigCloud Fabric plugin for vCenter simplifies cluster troubleshooting. First, let's take a look at our vCenter setup. Here we can see a cluster with three nodes. Each has a VM kernel interface dedicated to Virtual SAN. Virtual SAN is enabled on the cluster. We can verify basic vSAN network health using built-in tools provided by VMware. We will see later how we can get additional information on Virtual SAN network state by using BigCloud Fabric plugin for vCenter. Now looking at BigCloud Fabric, vCenter integration is enabled. As mentioned earlier, as soon as integration is enabled, vSAN nodes get automatically attached to the network. Here we can see BigCloud Fabric interface groups corresponding to uplinks on the vSAN nodes. In segment view, we can see automatically created segment corresponding to VM kernel networking for vSAN. In endpoint view, we can see a lot of useful information about VM kernel endpoints used for vSAN communication. BigCloud Fabric plugin for VMware vCenter web client provides visibility into the physical fabric for vSAN admin. Here, vSAN admin can see how virtual machines and corresponding port groups are connected to the fabric. From plugin, we can see exact path that the traffic between two vSAN nodes takes for the fabric. Prior tests are saved here for easy repeatability. We can create a new test by selecting appropriate vSAN VM kernel port on server 1 as a source and on server 2 as a destination. Then we can verify whether BigCloud Fabric controller believes this traffic should be forwarded. In Fabric view, we'll actually check if live traffic is forwarded on the fabric. For this, I'm running some traffic between these two VM kernels. As you can see, the test succeeded and we actually saw hop by hop path for vSAN traffic between two VM kernel interfaces through the physical fabric. Note that this is all done from BigCloud Fabric vCenter plugin without accessing BigCloud Fabric. This concludes the demonstration. There are multiple easy ways to experience BigCloud Fabric Advantage for VMware vSAN, including free BSN labs, free community edition, and attractively priced starter kits. For more information, please visit our website at bigswitch.com or follow us on Twitter. Thank you for watching and have a wonderful day.